Hello again. Ever since I've started armadillo mining, I've gotten a ton of questions as to when I'm making a guide on it. My answer was always that I would make it in the far future because I didn't want to kill the method. But because of my skyrocketing popularity, armadillo mining has skyrocketed with it. The top five is now composed of three armadillo miners from the previous zero. Rage Train is doing it, and a ton of other people in my guild are doing it or transitioning to doing it. Admittedly, making this video will skyrocket its popularity even more, so finding a spot to do it in will become much, much harder. I think it's important to do it nonetheless, though, because as more popular YouTubers learn about it, their fan base will learn about it as well. People could start armadillo mining while not knowing at all how to do the method, and they could start to think that the YouTuber they discovered it from was a pioneer or creator of the method. So, I'm here to stop this. Also, to get a ton of views, I guess, I am a YouTuber at the end of the day. So, how good is armadillo mining? Well, it can make up to 1.5 times as much as Jade and Ruby to the NPC. It's insane. It has a few drawbacks in that the spots are much, much harder to find, and it takes a lot longer to set up. But the profits outweigh Jade and Ruby so much, it's still worth it. In most people's opinions, it's also far more fun. First off, how do you set this method up? Well, there are two structures that you can mine in, which are both shown on screen. These structures generate in the precursor remnants, and are most effectively found by simply running around through the tunnels. Digging for them is pretty inefficient, so I wouldn't recommend doing that. Try creating a route through the tunnels that covers as much ground as possible. Then, once you're at the structure, you might realize that you can't mine some veins with your armadillo. The reason for this is that some of the veins are protected against armadillo mining. This is the reason armadillo mining in the mines of Devon isn't at all viable, because the armadillo can't mine those veins. Luckily, the protected veins are consistent in the structures they spawn in every time. The routes I take for both Spiral and Throne are being shown on screen now. If you try and mine the veins now, chances are you'll end up gradually digging big holes under the veins that your armadillo will fall into, because you accidentally break the hardstone. Well, adding cobblestone underneath these veins completely solves that. The armadillo can't break cobblestone, either player-placed or naturally genned. These platforms are also really helpful for veins that are largely above air, like the ones in Spiral. To summon the armadillo to you, like you see on screen, you'll need auto pet rules. To get the auto pet rules to summon the armadillo to you, first, you have to create a rule that when you throw a fishing hook, it equips any pet, except if you're not in the Crystal Hollows. Then, you create a rule that when you throw a fishing hook, it equips the armadillo with no rule exception. Everything has to be created in this exact order for it to work. I add the rule exception to the first rule because if I didn't, Hypixel wouldn't let you create the second rule, as it is too similar to the first. If you don't want your armadillo to activate in certain scenarios, you can always create another rule exception in the armadillo rule if you want to. The reason why I'm armadillo mining I never run out of energy is that the armadillo doesn't take energy by jumping or falling, and since I'm not moving horizontally, it doesn't take energy that way. The only reason I'm taking energy at all is because if you mine blocks while looking drastically up or down, then it will take energy. To avoid this, I mine into veins from the side. Sometimes I'll mine down or move a bit because it's simply so much more efficient to do that, and I can spare the energy. At the time of making this video, there is a bug that sometimes when you summon the armadillo, it'll be offset from you. To fix this, simply teleport before you summon it. The reasoning behind this is that the armadillo's offset is dependent on how far you are from the center of the block. 
Teleporting before you summon it puts you directly on the center of the block, therefore giving the armadillo no offset. Beyond routing the veins, as in mining them in a certain order, you'll also want to route the different parts of the veins somewhat. You want to mine in from the side, as mentioned earlier, starting at the top of the vein and gradually going down. Try to mine in spots where the most blocks will be destroyed at one time. This works especially well with corners formed by panes. You won't be able to center yourself for these, so sadly the offset can screw you over sometimes. Also, if you're mining down, it helps to teleport on the block below you, which, as stated earlier, centers you in the block. This makes it so that if you mine down with the armadillo, it won't get caught up in other blocks around it. I'm sure this sounds like a lot at first, and it is, but eventually you'll get the routing down and start to go faster and faster. At a certain point, you'll run out of veins to mine, while still having 95 plus energy. At that point, you dig natural veins out of the walls to mine. You'll also want to mine these from the side, and you can choose whether you want to put cobblestone under them or not. Finally, that's the bulk of armadillo mining done. The routing is by far the most sweaty and difficult part to do. The rest of the meta for it is still quite interesting, though. I'm going to start with the heart of the mountain tree you'll use for this. The tree that I use is the best for this, shown on screen. I abandon mining speed entirely because the armadillo simply instantly mines everything, and I never need to manually mine. So, my tree is optimized for fortune. The reason I get front-loaded is because if you disable it, the buffs will still apply, and will never expire. So, it's essentially a free 100 fortune and speed. I also have Sky Mall for the plus 15% powder perk because that works in the Crystal Hollows for gemstone blocks, not treasure chests, sadly, and I just want more powder. That's also the reason I have powder buff. With this tree, you actually end up with one token left over. You can't spend this on anything that will buff profits or powder, so I just spend it on titanium and sanium because I like titanium, I guess. Everything else is pretty standard. You can do with less than 4 million powder of both types for this method, because all you have to put powder into is fortune perks, but I'd still recommend getting 4 million of both powder types, simply because it's good to have. Especially if armadillo gets nerfed, you'll want the powder for manually mining. The gear you want for this is really the same as normal gemstone mining, except if you're short in money, you can really skip the amber gemstones and amber gemstone slots entirely. You don't have to worry about heated for this reason as well. Finally, you don't need a blue cheese goblin omelette drill, because you won't use an ability. In conclusion, armadillo mining is far, far better than any other method of gemstone mining, both for collection and money. It does have a few cons in how long it takes to find and set up, but it's so worth it for the sheer amount more it makes. So, thank you for watching, and please don't steal people's spots.